we present you a new video. How to repair the high pressure pump on a BMW 5 Series E39. If your car is hard to start, or you notice fuel leaks around the high pressure pump, this is the solution. To remove the high pressure pump, you'll need to take off the intake manifold and some components of the cooling system. This is the special tool required to safely remove the high pressure pump from its position without having to interfere with the timing system. This ring is fixed into the timing cover. And this tool is screwed into the pump gear after loosening its retaining nut. Then, by tightening the central screw, the gear is pressed off the pump shaft cone. The repair kit has the part number 319-990-003. The contents of this repair kit include plastic washers, O-rings, gaskets, clips, and two shaft seals, since there are two different shaft diameters for this pump. When removing the covers of the high pressure pump, I recommend using an impact driver to loosen the screws to avoid damaging them. Carefully unscrew and remove the cover. This is what the inside of the cover looks like. Remove the old seal from the central shaft. Then, disassemble the central shaft. Be extremely careful to keep the work area clean and free of impurities, no dirt should enter the fuel system components. There's also another gasket here. Pay close attention to the gaskets, each one must be reinstalled in the exact same position, with the same shape and size as the old one. Remove the O-rings from the pressure feed shaft. Here's one O-ring. You can see it's slightly damaged. And here's the Teflon spacer, which, as you can see, is broken. This is where the fuel was leaking. Replace the seals carefully, respecting the size type, and order of each gasket.
Remove the shaft if it remains stuck in the cover, along with the inner seals. Clean the cover thoroughly before reinstalling the new gaskets. You can use a utility blade and, of course, some brake cleaner spray. Follow the correct order when fitting the new seals. You can mount them either in the cover or on the pump. The order is the same. Use a small amount of grease to hold the large gasket in place on the cover. Install the new gasket by pressing it gently into place. Reinstall the cover carefully so as not to damage the new seals. Hold it in position and tighten the fixing screws diagonally. To keep the cover evenly seated, tighten the screws gradually using a torque wrench. I set mine to 40 Newton meters. Once the cover is secured, install the pump shaft oil seal using a deep socket to press it evenly. After reinstalling the pump, leave the fuel system and start the engine. As you can see, the engine runs perfectly even without the cooling system and other accessories reinstalled. I hope you found this video useful. I'll be back with more interesting videos soon.
In order, do not miss other videos that may interest you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.